Okay, this week we're going to uh, use the VR VEX programming to do our coding. Um, this is where we're going to try to hopefully remain uh, for the rest of the time doing our coding, uh, getting away from the robot mesh. A lot of you had problems with the robot mesh, with the mimic, uh, saving the code, getting logged in, remembering passwords. So trying to kind of make it as easy as possible for you. Uh, not as much customization, but hopefully you'll like this uh, coding environment a little bit better. Still with the blocks, very similar, uh, but we'll go over some of the things with you. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the website, which is up here. I've got it titled, typed in here, vr.vex.com. It's also going to be linked to your assignment for this week. And this is going to open up your coding assignment for what you're going to do for the week. Now, your assignment for this week is going to be you're going to have to navigate your robot through a maze. Now, with the robot mesh, we would have been able to build some robots and do some things. We're going to give up on that and just do more of the coding of the robots and uh, the sensors of the robots and doing some things with that. So we'll have a pre-built, predefined robot. We'll do some coding and some things with them there. Um, so this is going to be your coding environment that you're going to be working in hopefully for the rest of uh, the time that we're having to do our distance learning. So the first thing that you've got up in the middle it has every project is just called VEX code project. You're going to click up in there and this is, you're going to change the name of your project and your project will always start with your first name and then what the project is this week. And you have a choice of either uh, letter maze or number maze. So your project is either going to be, is going to be your first name, letter maze, first name, uh, uh, number maze. So I'm going to call mine Burke letter maze. All right. And I'm going to hit rename. So that's the name of my code now. So it's see Burke letter maze. So you always want to do that. Now, what we're going to use is the, is a still a virtual environment. And now this virtual environment isn't quite as in, as customizable as what we were doing in the robot mesh. And I had some high hopes, but I think this is going to be a lot easier because we ran into a lot of issues, not from you guys, but everybody with the robots not stopping, the code not repeating itself the same. I'm hoping that this is going to be better for us. So what you're going to do when you first get logged in, rename your code so it's set up to be what you want it to be, and you're going to click on Playground. The Playground is going to open up. This is going to be the virtual environment for you. Now, there's lots of different playgrounds that we're going to be working in. The one that we're going to do today is going to be wall maze, okay? And this is all going to be in your instructions for the assignment as well. So we're, when we're in the wall maze, so here's a couple of things that we got, and we're going to show you guys around here just a little bit. On the left-hand side, you have all of your code blocks. Your code blocks you'll need to drag in underneath the when started. Now, as with always doing our coding, when we drag in like a drive forward block, if I drag in the drive forward block, put it under the one started, I come up here and I hit the start and my robot will drive forward. Now you notice my robot is gonna continue to drive forward till the robot tips itself up or until I hit the stop button, okay? Now my robot is kind of in an awkward position there. I can come down here and hit the reset button, reset my robot, he goes back to the green square to start again. Right now, what I forgot is how long do I want my robot to drive forward? So I can do one of two things. I can scroll down and see all the different color coding for my programs, or under control, I can put my weight in here. Weight is our sleep. So in Robot Mesh, we used sleep. Sleep, if you remember, is your weight. So this is, I'm going to drive forward, wait one second. And then what is it that I want to do? I can do I can do my stop. I can do a turn left. I can do a turn right. I can do whatever I want to do. So I'm going to do a turn right, right? And I'm going to wait for one second again. And I'm going to have it stopped. Wait for one second again. And then I'm going to have the robot uh, stop. All right, so then if I have my drive forward again here, I can drag down my blocks and I can change it to, I can drive it forward, drive it reverse. I'm gonna have him drive reverse. Now notice I'm not gonna put another end block on here or actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him just stop. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do the stop driving. So I'm gonna do my stop driving. But with my drop down arrows, I can choose if I'm going left or right. 
I hit the reset button, my robot goes back to its green start square. I hit the start button, drive forward for one second, turn right for one second. That almost puts me at a, at a right turn. And that's where I'm at with my robot. Okay, so you're gonna need to put these codes in and put the commands in to get your robot to drive through the maze. We're gonna talk about that here in just a second. Before we do that though, we wanna say, okay, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna reset my robot. I'm gonna finish going through the codes here. All of your code blocks are, are color coded. Your driving code blocks or drivetrain blocks are all blue. Purple, we're gonna to get to a little bit later, but those are gonna be your coloring and pen, right? So we can do some cool art things with this that we're gonna get into next week. Um, the yellow blocks are going to be your control, which is going to, if you want to repeat something, create loops. We're going to talk about what do we do with our loops, our sleep, or our wait command. Real important. You're going to need under control the wait command to get your coding going. Then we have our sensors, which we haven't gotten into yet, so we can skip past the blue for the sensors. We will get into and work with the sensors to use the vision sensor and do some coding and programming with the robotic vision sensor. We have our math operators that we're gonna talk about and put those things in. Uh, we can create variables or if you wanted to create some of your own blocks. And then the bottom one is gonna be your comment. So my comment could put, put to where I would put drive, have the robot drive forward, All right? So drive robot forward. So those are gonna be my comment blocks to tell them what my robot is going to do. Okay, so that's going to be all of your coding blocks that you're going to really be working with. Now, over here, a couple of the blocks that you've got is we've got our playground. Okay, now again, we're working in the wall maze today. There's lots of different playgrounds. You can look at them, check them out with the other things if you want to play around. Wall maze is the one that we're going to be doing today or for this week. So I can expand this to make my wall maze bigger. I can drag the wall maze around to where I want it. If I wanna hide the wall maze to work on my code, I can absolutely work on my code. Um, so I can do all those things. Now here, if I get my robot messed up and I wanna go back to the start, I can hit the restart button. Now I don't get to choose when my robot starts from. My robot is always gonna start in this playground from that green square. Now what I do have here is, I, these are cameras. So this bottom one is the camera that we're on, which is the what's called the follow camera. So this will follow my robot as if you're looking directly behind the robot. What might be a better camera for you for this one is going to be the top down camera. And this is where you can see what your assignment is for this week. Your robot starts right here, right here in the green square, and you need to choose, and you can either do a letter maze or number maze. Doesn't matter which one you would like to choose. If you're gonna do the letter maze, you're title of your project is going to be your first name letter maze. If you're going to do the number maze, your first name number maze. Now what you're going to do if I do the letter maze is that means I'm going to drive navigate this robot. So when I hit run, this robot will drive to the A, drive to the B, to the C, to the D, then stop at this at this N square here. So I'm going to get my robot to drive to where it needs to be. Okay, now, if you hit the wall, that's okay. It's not a big deal. The wall's not going to fall down or anything like that. You just need to get A, B, C, and D. Or if you're going to do the number maze, one, two, three, four, then the end zone. Okay, Whichever way that you would like to get it, you are going to program your robot. Okay, Now, we're going to get to some other things, but this top one here, what this uh, top block does is this will show you uh, the heading of your robot. So you can see like uh, some of the commands that you've got over here. When we look at these commands, I can see that I want to have my robot turn, set drive heading to. Right now, my robot's drive heading is at zero degrees. So if my robot turns and he turns too far, I can use the set heading to set the heading so he turns exactly where I want him to turn to, okay? And this is going to help us as when we're starting to do some of our driving, where are we going? What are we going to do with our driving? Okay, so this will give us lots of cool things that you that we want to do with it. And if we want to get rid of anything, we can close it out, go back to the follow behind, change to the top down, whichever way you would like to travel around through your maze, you could certainly do that.
Now, here's what you guys need to know with this. You, there's no logging in. There's no way to save to the website. This is all web-based. So if you're going to get out and you need to go back and work on it later, which is fine, you've got all week to do this, you need to save this program to your device, to your Chromebook. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top. You're going to go to File, and this is where you're going to say Save to Your Device. Okay. When you hit Save to Your Device, it is automatically going to save this to your Chromebook, right? To your default Chromebook location. And when you are ready to open it up again, right? So let's say I close this out and I close out my website or something happens on my website. Um, when I open up my website again and I go back to the vr.vex.com, you'll notice that my program is not going to be there. Okay, it does not save unless you save it. You must save your work. So if I if I saved my work, what I can do is I'm going to go back here to File, Load from my device, and it will open up, and I can find my device, and there it is, right there. Burke Letter Maze Blocks. I hit the Open key, and it brings right back to my code. Loads all of my code up. Now, what I will need to do is still open up my playground again and make sure that I choose the playground that I was using, which is going to be wall maze. Right? And that is going to be the playground that we're, that we're working with. What you are going to do for this week is when you are done and, you, and this saves your program to your computer, this file in your download folder is going to be what you're going to attach to the Google Classroom. I cannot see your file if you don't send me the file for your final code. So your file must be named your first name, letter maze, or number maze, and you will attach that file to the Google Classroom and turn it in when it's done. I've got until Friday afternoon, 3 o'clock, to get this done. If you need have any questions or need anything, you can get on during virtual office hours, 9.30 to 10 every day. Google Meet, Google Classroom, however you need to, to get in touch with me. You can call my cell phone. We'll get you guys working on this, and I hope you enjoy working with the VEX VR programming. Have a great week.